A good guerrilla uses everything to their advantage, which means a good guerrilla collects as many resources as they can. It's your lucky day, because today I'm going to give you some tips on gathering resources faster. Early in your campaign, after clearing your first outpost in Isla Santuario, you'll unlock access to an arms dealer, who works for yours truly, of course. A good reason to visit the arms dealer is the scavenger set they have in stock, which will make it easier for you to find resources. One of my favorite parts of the set is the scrounger helmet. That thing is like having X-ray vision. The helmet will let you tag containers through walls. And if that's not sexy, I don't know what is. Next up is the scrounger coat, which allows you to acquire additional crafting materials when you're looting. Because you'll likely be using vehicles to travel across Yara, you won't want to pass on the scrounger shoes. When equipped, you'll have the ability to automatically gather nearby items while in a vehicle. I'll make sure the arms dealer is available early on, so you make sure to pay them a visit. Every guerrilla has their own way of doing things, so there's some options you can change in the HUD settings to enable your own playstyle. Making resources more visible is a good place to start, especially in crowded or colorful environments. When you open the HUD, you can turn on Pick Up Outline. This will draw an outline around any items that can be collected or picked up. You can even adjust the color of the outline in the Colors tab. Pick the color that works best for you. There's other help out there for finding more resources. Always make sure you have a good amigo by your side. Chorizo's small, but he has a lot to offer. His first ability, we call it Bloodhound, lets him sniff out and tag nearby crafting materials. It can be very easy to miss some hidden resources, but not with Chorizo's help. Another ability he has is Keen Senses, which, when active, allows him to occasionally dig up some new resources out of the ground. Using Chorizo at the start of your campaign is going to make things a lot easier. Don't forget to pet him, of course. Dogs love that shit. You're gonna come across a lot of people in Yara. Take some time. Get to know them. Interacting with people and saving hostages is a good way to gather intel on hidden caches or military targets, which have a ton of resources. People who are open to talk will conveniently have the exclamation icon above their heads. So keep your eyes peeled. Got some pesos burning a hole in your pocket? Bribes are fun. Guards can be paid off to reveal a series of hidden caches in many regions. Caches might reward you with rare gunpowder to customize your weapons. So put that money to good use. Ah, La Cantina, my favorite place. La Cantina is a facility that can be built in any guerrilla camp, if you have the resources and the space, that is. This will give you a place to start cooking some delicious meals with recipes provided by the cantina chef. Meals are gonna provide you with specific buffs. The higher the level of la cantina, the more recipes you'll unlock with unique buffs. The second level of la cantina will give you access to the lucky fish and chips recipe. <laughs> I can almost taste it now. Eating this meal will grant you the ability to scavenge additional crafting materials and animal meat for six hours. Cooking the meal will require you to have at least one snook fish. So grab your fishing rod, you got some fishing to do. Ah, my favorite pastime. After making murder toys, that is. Time for a recap. You know, like at the start of those streaming shows. Make sure to visit the arms dealer after clearing your first outpost in Isla Santuario. You'll gain access to the scavenger set. This will let you find and gather resources faster. Tweak your HUD settings to make resources more visible to you by changing the color of item outlines. Chorizo is your amigo for tracking. Bring him along and he'll smell out and tag resources. He may even dig up some valuable ones if you train him well and earn him additional abilities. Don't be a stranger. Talk to people to gather intel on hidden caches and military targets. Both will get you more resources. And finally, get cooking, because you're not gonna take Castillo down on an empty stomach.